F. Kumugi. And he's here to interact with the media before GCK takes off on Thursday. Once again, you are all welcome. <laughs> Pastor Achiboda Konobe will give us opening prayer before we commence proceedings. Pastor Akonobe. If it's not readily available, the coordinator of the GCK Secretariat, Pastor Tumsia, kindly give us the opening prayer. Please, shall we rise up and pray together? Our Father in heaven, we thank you this morning. What a beautiful day you have given us today. We bless you for this great program that Ghana is hosting. And we thank you for your presence already. This morning we are here and before you. Your spirit will guide, lead, and direct proceedings. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you very much. Pastor Edward K. Diodu, who is National Vasia Deeper Life Bible Church, Ghana, will give us brief opening remarks and then we continue with the rest of proceedings. Pastor Diodu. We thank the Lord very much for all the people who are gathered here. And we give the glory to God for bringing the convener of GCK in the person of Pastor Dr. Deboev Komoyi. And uh, by the grace of God, with this one, we know that GCK is in full swing. By the grace of God, as we have started, the momentum will be guarded till we get to Thursday and to the end of the program. And I strongly believe, by the grace of God, the Alpha and Omega, he will begin with us and is going to end with us on a very good note. God bless you and thank you. Thank you very much, Pastor Edward Judu. Respectfully for the sake of acknowledgement, we have a number of heads of churches here present. In no particular order, we have Bishop Stephen Owusu Jackson of the Christian Praise International Center. We have Bishop Dr. Charles Urban, who is the chairman of the National Clergy Association. Senior Bishop James Kwekusa of the Action Chapel International. The Chairman of the Church of Pentecost Worldwide, Apostle Eric Kwabna Nyamiche. The presiding bishop of the Methodist Church Ghana, who is also the head of the ecumenical bodies in Ghana, the Most Reverend Dr. Paul K. Buafo. God bless you, sir. Reverend Dr. Joyce Ayo of the Salt and Light Ministries, Dr. Lawrence Sete, Lawrence Sete Ministries, Bishop Dr. Ampia Kofi of the Global Revival Ministries, Bishop Delafia Gomez, who is President, Full Gospel Church International. I will be acknowledging the rest. We also have overseers of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry here present. They are in numbers, if we can have their hands up, or may they rise up for acknowledgement. Overseers of Deeper Life. Our former national overseer, immediate past, Pastor John Boham, is also here. <laughs> Remarks by heads of churches, in no particular order, respectfully. The most reverend Dr. Paul K. Boafo will tee off this one for us. Sir. the convener of GCK, our respected friend and brother, Pastor Dr. William Kumui, you are welcome to Ghana. We are so delighted to have you here. Other heads of churches and uh, communal bodies here present, our friends from the media, 
and all other protocol duly observed. This is the day the Lord has made, and we all rejoice and we are glad in it. This is a great, glorious visitation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to Ghana, not only to Christians, but to Ghana. And that is why we are all delighted to be part of it. Here, I want to pledge the support of all Christian bodies here in Ghana to be part and parcel of GCK Ghana. And we say we are delighted to have you here and you are welcome. Thank you and God bless you for choosing Ghana at this particular point in time. We need the Lord and you are bringing him once again to us and we are so delighted. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Apostle Eric Nyamiche of the Church of Pentecost. We are very grateful to the Lord God Almighty that this day is finally here with us. The convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. Kumi, you are warmly welcome. You have been an inspiration to us since we were young and now we are old and we are still seeing you still fresh and we want to thank God for your life. We, we, we are expecting a glorious visitation indeed and we want to pull all the Christian community together and we'll be behind you and we are praying that the Lord Almighty will use you greatly. We know that the benefit is not going to be to Nigeria but it's going to be to us. And so we'll hold this crusade with our two hands and we pray that may the Lord do what is right in his eyes. God bless you. Thank you very much, Apostle. Reverend Dr. Ampia Kofi. We are very glad in our hearts to welcome God's general to our country once again. We have been inspired, we have been moved, we have been challenged over the years. And uh, we are very, very glad to have you here again. And we know that the latter will be even greater than the former. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you very much. I must say that Apostle Nyameche is also the president of the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council. <laughs> Bishop, Senior Bishop Jim Saar. We welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm here representing my Archbishop, Nicholas Duncan Williams. <clears throat> the Bible says in Acts chapter 8, when the people saw and heard what God used Philip to do, the city was turned around. So I believe this time around, as has happened in other places, we will see and we will hear. We will hear and we will see what God will do. So we welcome you and we bring you the love of God and we support you with our love and our prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. Dr. Lawrence Tete. Thank you, Dr. Kumui, for being an example to us. I believe many years ago, it is when T.L. Osborne is coming to town that ministers will rally around. When Oral Roberts is in town, we rally around. When Dr. Morris Arello is coming, then we rally around him. And then when we hear big names from other parts of the world, we rally around them. But this time around, we have our own. <laughs> and Dr. Kume, for those of us who have followed you over the years and taken inspiration from you, we want to thank you for your level of integrity. But for integrity, we will not have the whole president of Charismatic Council and Pentecostal Council here. And the head of Church of Pentecost will not have him here, but for your integrity. But for your integrity, we will not have the head 
of Christian Council of Ghana, Dr. Boafo, who is also the head of church, the Methodist Church Ghana here. But for integrity, one time minister of Ghana, minister of education, minister of information, and also currently one of the leading early states person in Ghana, Dr. Joyce Aye, would not be here if you didn't have integrity. And having said that, I believe all of you agree with me, like Dr. Ampiakov Riley said, that you've been an example to all of us. So I want to say that we are standing with you. I will plead before we go here that we should not just come as leaders. Let our followers follow this great program. And I pray that this program goes well. We salute you. Reverend Dr. Joyce Ayi of the Salt and Light Ministries. Glory, hallelujah. You're welcome, sir. I was just asking whether you were Yoruba. So that I, could, I can say a carol. <laughs> Good morning, ma. Beloved in the Lord, God has his way of bringing his people together. And he uses various means. And I think this time in the economy of God is what we're seeing now. This is not about the convener. It's about the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ striding on the shores and on the land of Ghana. And we give glory to God that he's used a servant who is willing and able to bring us together. What is happening now is just the beginning of greater things that we're going to see among us, the children of God in Ghana. And we want to thank you for being a part of what we have begun to do already, but what you are also going to add to. My mind goes to the Lord Jesus when he says, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And after talking to the disciples, he sends them. So I'm glad he sent you, because he's willing to raise people for these end times. Thank you all for being here. You know we're solidly behind our young evangelist. <laughs> I hear he's only about 28 or something <laughs> like that. So for those of you who are older, let's help the young man do what the God has asked him to come and do. Thank you. Thank you very much. GCK, GCK Ghana is a body of Christ event. And to actualize that reality, there is a committee that has been put together to rally members of all other churches to come in their numbers to the Alpha location, the Independence Square in Accra, so that they can be part of God's blessing that is about to be unleashed. The chairman of that uh, special interdenominational mobilization committee is here. Bishop Dr. Charles Aban. Please. Uh, praise the Lord. May the Lord bless everyone. I want to thank you for your coming. I see it as a service unto the Lord. In John chapter 12, verse 26, he says that we are serving the Lord. And wherever the Lord Jesus is, that is where the servant must be. And the last thing he said is that, I am good, my father in heaven will honor you. This is honor. We honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you very much. The orchestra will come in briefly, but we also have here Reverend Mark Davis of Olive City Ministries with us this morning. Thank you very much for coming, sir. The orchestra, please. Afterwards, the convener, his very first, first word on arrival in Ghana for GCK Ghana. You hear it first. That is the beginning of the blessing. Stay tuned. God bless you.
Thank you very much. Now, respectfully, I'll turn to the convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, to give us his <laughs> remarks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord bless everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you mind if we start with a word of prayer? Father, we do thank you for this time. This is what you have done yourself for your own glory, not to exalt a man or exalt anyone. We're asking, Lord, that your purpose, your plan, will be fulfilled in this GCK Ghana edition in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless Ghana. Bless the government, bless everyone, and bless the rest of the world through Ghana at this time in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You can sit down. I must say that I'm overwhelmed and awed by the unity of the church in Ghana for this GCK. The We've seen such um, unity in other places, but I want to say for a whole country and for the whole church of different perspectives or persuasions to come together to lift up Jesus and to have the word of Christ, the gospel of the Lord, reach out to the whole nation and from the nation to the rest of the world, it's awesome. And I want to thank God for you, fulfilling the prayer of the Lord Jesus, that they all may be one, that the world may know that the Father had sent him. This is not a denominational gathering. It's not uh, for this church or that church. It's for the body of Christ together. And you have demonstrated that from all the various uh, publicity things you've done and pledging the support and uh, taking everything as if this is your own program to glorify the Lord. And the Lord will honor you. Honor your ministry. Expand your ministry. And make you to be the salt, not only of Ghana, of the rest of the world in Jesus' name. You'll be the light of the world as well. And uh, this program was starting on Thursday, on the 20th of this month. From what we've seen in other places, God has decided to lift up Jesus in all the areas of his ministry. He was teaching, he was preaching, he was healing the sick. And we've seen miracles that we never saw in uh, our ministry, in my ministry before. Because this is for the whole world. We're seeing uh, people saved and really transformed and their lives changing, bringing glory to God. We've also seen uh, miracles of healing and deliverance. In fact, we've seen the dead raised as well to the glory of God. And from the heart desire of the people in Ghana, the church in Ghana, I believe, we're going to witness what we've never seen in any other place. And for the ministers, the conference too, the Lord is uh, going to wake us up. We're already awake, but we're going to go far in the ministry in Jesus' name. And also for the young people, the youths, I have uh, something burning in my heart for the young people. As um, our lady minister said, just at about 28, I should link up and connect very well with the young people. And the young people, they have upward to higher heights. 
your children, your young people, and even people who are not claiming to be Christians or members of churches, we're inviting everyone. Whatever we can do to prepare this young generation for the church of the future, for the country of the future until Christ comes, this is our time. Once again, I do appreciate our coming together for this uh, momentous uh, crusade and uh, GCK that is going to happen. It will take everyone by surprise. I'm feeling already within my heart too that I'm going to be surprised about what God will do because when God's people are united together, there's no limit to what they can do and what they can achieve for the Lord. And I pray that this will be the next level for GCK all over the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much for coming. We appreciate everyone. I wish I could go around again and just shake everybody's hand and tap some of your anointing so that, uh, you know, the anointing on the field, on the crusade, will be unprecedented in Jesus' name. Thank you. I love you. And I know you love me. And we love each other. We are going to lift Jesus up for this generation and for the time to come. God bless everyone. Thank you very much. The very first words of the convener upon arrival in Ghana. If you are here in person, you are blessed already. <laughs> this is a media interaction. We have a host of journalists around with cameras and their tripods battling for space all over the place. It is time for us to hear from you. Media practitioners here present, are there any questions on your mind? Please. Those handling the sound, if you can make a microphone available on standby, so that journalists who want to ask questions, we can give them the opportunity. When you get up, please, you identify yourself and your media house. We are here for one item, to welcome the convener. Let us remain focused. Thank you very much. May I see those who have questions? If you have any questions, please. Where is the microphone on standby? Okay. Please, if you have any question, journalists here present, is there any question? GCK Ghana, it is happening from Thursday to Tuesday. That is 20th to 26th. Please, to 25th, please take note. The Impact Academy, which is on 22nd, will hold at Accra Sports Stadium, not the Independence Square. I want to repeat for good measure. Impact Academy for the Youth holds at Accra Sports Stadium. The two are just neighbors. So anybody who has been invited, let them divert their course to the Sports Stadium. And the Lord will be there to minister to them. Yes, there's a hand up, please. Yes, please. Case okay. for Ghanaian Times. So my question is, what, what should Ghana expect from this five-day evangelism program? And secondly, why Ghana? Thank you very much. What should we expect? And, and uh, possibly the third question, if, if uh, I will be allowed. OK, let me finish with the, with the two that you have asked. We're uh, asking, what should we expect? You know the people in the, gospel, in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, as Christ came, there had been 400 years without a prophet, without the voice of God, without vision, revelation from God. And how Christ came, what did they expect? They expected all they had missed for those 400 years in the time of Moses and Elijah and Elisha, the great things God had done. They believed that those things will come up again in our lives. <clears throat> there are things who have been expecting this will happen, that will happen, but they have not happened. The touch of God, the transformation of life, the coming together, uniting of families, and the prospects that we have, the, um, the provision that the Lord will give us, things we have never seen. And as we have those desires and the passion, the Lord is saying, come, that what you want in your life, what you desire in your life, and what the Lord himself had wanted to do all these many years that had not been done, this is the time for every individual,
every family and for the country for Ghana is going to be marvelous. And then why Ghana? Somebody, you know, the king has provided a feast, is going to have a dinner, and then he got your name and he invited you. He said, you are special, come. You say, why me? That's not the right question. The right question is me of all people the lord has invited me and lifted me up god has lifted up ghana and now ghana is on the spot and we're going to show not just crusade the whole of ghana to the rest of the world and ghana becomes the source of miracle the source of power and the source of all that people are desiring for the rest of the world why ghana praise god it's ghana at this time Thank you very much. Uh, I, I don't want you to steal the show with your third question. Let me get to someone else, please, respectfully. Is there any other hand? Any other hand? Okay, please give it to him. Let him take the third question. Okay, my third question is, uh, indeed, the world and Ghana is going through challenges. Africa is facing rising higher uh, debt and a host of challenges. I'm asking, is it about time the political leaders uh, went resorted to God for solution to the challenges we are facing? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Let me go back to history again. And uh, look at the time Jesus came. And look at those uh, 400 years, I said, between Malachi and Matthew. And you see that the governments of the world at that time were facing real serious challenges. The challenge of health care, the challenge of finance, the challenge of economy, the challenge of, you know, the kings and the emperors that were the people at that time, even foreigners, were reigning over the land of Israel. And the various wars that are taking place between uh, those uh, uh, peers I spoke about, uh, Malachi and Matthew, and then Jesus came. Just at the right time. Because the world was at its lowest ebb and at the highest point of suffering in the world. And Christ came. And Jesus said, if you had known the time of your visitation, and thank God we are waking up, that in our own time, with the problem in Africa and the West and the rest of the world, Christ now comes to us. I pray that we will know the time of our visitation, the glorious visitation. Things will turn around even for us. God bless you. Thank you very much. I think for the sake of time, we'll pull the bricks here. Thank you very much. Our convener came with his wife. And I think it's only ideal that we hear from her too. Mama Esther Kumui is here. Praise the Lord. It's a great, great honor to be here. I thank God for it. I've been to Ghana before. But I know that this time around, it's going to be a different story. Amen. Greater, greater things than ever before God is going to do. And we are each and every one of us going to be blessed. You will not miss your portion. Because God has purposed to do us good. And you will get your own portion of it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you very much, Mama. Welcome. Before we go back to the convener for his closing remarks and a word of prayer, I want to state for the sake of emphasis, glorious visitation from Christ is the main crusade that holds the Independence Square from Thursday 20th of this month to Tuesday 25th of this month. On the sidelines, we are going to have the ministers church workers and professionals conference which is titled or headlined enabling grace and power for end time harvests it is holding on the 21st 22nd 24th and 25th 
Please take note that Sunday morning there is no ministers' conference. So kindly take note. And then for the youth, the special, as our father has indicated, upward to higher heights. That is on the morning of 22nd of this month at the Accra Sports Stadium. Respectfully, let me say that this is a global program. Ghana does not control the time. So whatever time that is listed here is the time that the program will start. Because there are other countries also going to hook up live from so many parts of the world. So punctuality is very important. Minister's conference begins at 6 a.m. Thankfully, the GMT Ghana falls within it directly. So 6 a.m. is 6 a.m. Ghana time. Let's bear that in mind. God bless you. I will then hand over to the convener to give us some closing remarks and a word of prayer. Praise the Lord. I think um, for closing remarks, I just want to express how happy I am and how expectant I am for the country and for the rest of the world for this GCK uh, Ghana uh, April. The Lord is going to bless us in ways we never imagined. He says we shall call on him and believe him and seek him with all our heart. And whatever we are asking, as we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, he said he will answer. And I want to uh, tell everyone that all our requests, all our prayers, let's bring to the Lord. In fact, Jesus said, he that believeth in me, the works I do, he will do also. So I'm, I'm expecting the repetition of the days of Jesus on earth. Amen. Can we say amen to that? Amen. And the Lord confirm it this time in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for a gathering together. Thank you for your ministers, your servants, your people, your church. Thank you, Lord, because we join our hearts and hands together. And we know that you are going to do things that only you can do. Solve the problems of the people. Remove the mountains before the people. Touch lives, touch families, and touch countries as well. We believe that you are going to do everything you have promised. We give the honor and the glory to you. Lord, we'll just stand behind the cross and let everything you provided at Calvary become the benefits of all your people. Confirm it, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, sir. Please respectfully, the time for the crusade is 4 p.m. 4 p.m. daily. Independence Square is the center of attraction. Be sure you are there, and the Lord will be mighty to save and heal. God bless you. Shall we remain, shall we remain upstanding as the convener and his team are led out by the security detail? He'll be followed by senior pastors and church heads here. Senior pastors and church heads. I'll be meeting the media briefly before they go.